So when I first read this attack, I was thinking, are you kidding me? What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be looking at the latest tag team that just got announced, and it features one Pokemon that I feel like was always pretty cool. The cards always had some interesting mechanics, but was never strong enough to really make a big splash in the meta, and that is Naganadal and Guzzlord GX. That's right. It's a Ultra Beast tag team. So let's change our view to PokePeach.com as always uh, from a post made by Water Pokemon Master. And let's, uh, let's take a minute to appreciate the art. I think this is really cool. To be honest, I've never been a huge fan of Naganadal, but this one does, the art does pretty look pretty cool. One thing I will say about Naganadal is this Pokemon only has one pose <laughs> and it's always the same. You know, the, the, the stinger or the, you know, the, the butt of the Pokemon is like facing forward, you know, so it's like in attack position. I guess you could make the argument Guzzler doesn't have many poses too, but he, I don't know, his arts always look really cool. Um, and he always looks very intimidating. I do like how he's, in some degree, it looks like just like a silhouette of him. Uh, so it looks very menacing and very evil and he's kind of in the background too. So very sick art and I'm curious how they'll do the alternate art because uh, yeah, the alternate art that the a lot of the new cards have is like super top notch. Um, doesn't look like it'll be like a trainer or anything, but I'm sure it'll be insane. Uh, so let's take a look at the card. So this is going to be an SM12 Alter Genesis. Not sure when Alter Genesis is coming out, but I feel like it, the new sets come out like every month or so. Um, so Dragon type 280 HP. I think 280 is um, obviously it's 10 higher than the standard 270 nowadays for tag teams. But that's a big deal. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that um, kind of has like a sweet spot. It's like, oh, well, what what is the good damage threshold? It's like, oh, well, if you can do 270 damage in one attack, you're like, all right, you got a one hit kill for the tag teams. But now it's kind of like changing that, changing the math in a lot of ways. Um, so the two that come to mind is like the Dragonite GX that can do, I don't remember what the attack is called, but essentially does 270 and makes you discard three energy. And then the one that um, just got released in, Jap in the Japanese set for uh, Dream League is the uh, Zekrom Reshiram that does like 90x um, my, and then some amount of energy that you need to discard. And so obviously you discard three, that's that nice 270 that'll knock out most tag teams. But not this one, so this one does have that little extra HP that basically makes a huge difference. Um, the difference between one hit kill and two hit kills, obviously. And so, even though there are still ways to get the job done, you know, there's like Altaria as one way, and there's probably other ways to get squeak in that last bit of damage, but basically it makes it that much harder. So, 280 is a bigger deal than it might sound right off the bat. Alright, let's take a look at its ability, Gluttony. At first, I kind of read this like, okay, that's interesting. Uh, six, discard a Pokemon card from your hand. If you do, heal 60 damage from this Pokemon. And uh, one thing is like, what is going on here? And it's called Gluttony. <laughs> I feel like the Guzzlord is like, is it eating the Pokemon or something? <laughs> and then regaining HP, that's kind of uh, almost disturbing. But uh, as far as how good it is um i feel like it'll be very situational and it's kind of like a threat it's just another um throws another wrench uh, potential wrench in your math to knock out this pokemon uh i doubt it'll be used a lot but it just makes it so i think one way to look at it is if you're looking at two hit ko you have to be able to deal 340 if you deal less than 340 across two hits you know, this is just another threat. So it just makes that threshold for the two hit KO a little bit higher. Like, and I feel like it's a free bluff. Like it, you always have to respect it. You can't, if you do like 160 damage uh, in the back of your mind, like, oh my gosh, I, this might not pan out. He might have, maybe he doesn't have Pokemon in his hand, but there's so many ways to draw cards that, you know, you just have to assume it's there. So even if you never use Gluttony, I feel like it'll still have an effect. All right, so let's move on to its attack, Jet Pierce. Uh, so this is probably not gonna, Gluttony. Um, you know, Guzzlord doing the the healing. Jet Pierce sounds like a Naganado thing. Uh, so Psychic 
and darkness colorless very strange whenever there's like two two different energy that's never a good thing and then only one colorless so you can't use like dc or anything always makes it for a little awkward but there are some you know there's a good amount of ways still to do some acceleration when you have double two kinds of energy it makes it a little bit harder so you know not a unideal like energy cost but uh, 180 damage with no drawbacks um it's not super high but it's probably good enough you know i feel like it'll take care of most if not all like non-gx's and set you up pretty nicely for a two hit ko for any gx and any tag team for that matter too even naginato goes lord itself and um so it's a it's good but not great and then here's the at first i thought like when i first look at this card I was like are you kidding me uh chaos order gx so colorless and so what does it do for just one color flip over your prize cards and they remain face up for the rest of the game uh yeah that that's 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 pretty bad <laughs> that's pretty bad off the off uh to begin with but where it really comes into play so this is not a colorless gx attack it's really a colorless psychic dark energy so same exact attack so same exact cost of jet pierce um you do that and then you pick two prize cards so it's like a, in, a free knockout of a gx a pokemon from your opponent it's kind of like um burst gx from blacephalon gx is like oh take a prize card this is double it with a uh, higher energy cost and a bit awkward but the way i look at this is this is like the guaranteed finisher like let's say you're running behind you're you're a little bit behind and then they play this and they're setting up it's like well i can't do anything about that and especially when there's it's going to be very difficult to one hit ko i feel like this is just the um you know the last nail the uh you know last nail in the coffin uh gg game over and uh so and but the important thing it doesn't do any damage so one of the comments and we'll take a look through the comments below i feel like uh one person made a good point is that you know this doesn't do any damage which is what kind of like if you're using this to finish match like yeah there's no way around it and sir two is like kind of an awkward number when in a tag team meta but i do think that almost all decks will run some kind of non-gx support uh, whether it's for ramp up or healing or whatever so you just need to knock out one of those knock out a tag team and then this kind of secures it uh, but yeah it is very fair to say like look if you're not winning the game with this attack you know you're leaving yourself super vulnerable to a free attack without doing anything to your opponent's active pokemon uh, so in itself it's kind of situational uh, and, and I feel like that's a very good way to describe this card all together, you know, not a home run, not the, you know, end all, and I think that, um, Zekrom Reshiram will just be much more consistent, but this thing definitely has, it's very unique and very threatening that you have to respect, just given its HP and the ability to take two prize cards for free for, for its GX attack, just for three energy, um, but not going to be the best damage dealer, or rather, there will definitely be uh, stronger po Pokemon with stronger attacks that are probably going to be more consistent. But this is just like a very uh, surefire way to close any match. And let's just go through see if there's any other comments. I think that was basically it. So some uh, right here. I feel like they always did like this rating in Geo dudes for Geo dudes. Um, yeah, this is kind of like back to my first point that 280 is a big deal. You know, a lot of things will kind of go hone into that that, uh, that 270 damage point. So um, that's it for today. I thought that was a very interesting card. I'm really excited to see what the alternate art looks like. Um, just that that N with the Reshiram Zekrom, like that's mine. Like I do have some uh dream league box coming boxes coming and i'm really excited to open those and that is definitely the card we're looking for not the regular one the alternate art looks absolutely insane that's the one i want the most by far i think someone posted on the pokemon dcg right is like is this card real and is it coming to english because you know that's how hype it is that people even question whether or not it's real so uh stay tuned in the near future for that opening once i get those boxes we're definitely doing it right away um but that's it for today guys in a comment down below let me know what your thoughts are uh do you think this card is going to be a big deal do you see it being stronger than i imagine or do you kind of see it being that situational thing um you know surefire way to end the game let me know down below and uh that's it for today guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe all down below i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time